know it's real Ghana World Boxing, man. It's a quick post fight review to uh, Gilberto Ramirez versus uh, Tom Carpensi. Man, this dude Carpensi quit on a stool, okay, man? Look, Gilberto, man, came in this fight, man. Look, first of all, Gilberto moved up. Wait, wait, man. He's it. They fighting that light heavyweight right now. Uh, it's a light heavyweight fight. And Gilberto Ramirez came in a ring at 196, damn near a cruiserweight. Came in a ring at 196. You know, uh, they saying, like, you know, he couldn't, you know, he longer, no longer can make super middleweight, man. But he still holds a belt at super middleweight. But, you know, uh, Gilberto Mar Ramirez is the, uh, you know, super middleweight. He's a WBO super middleweight champ. And, and we, we all, I mean, I was looking forward to a fight with, uh, uh, I was looking forward to a fight to, uh, uh, David Benavidez, you know what I'm saying? But, uh, don't look like that's happening anytime soon. So, uh, so anyway, Gilberto Ramirez in the ring, 196, man, he came in there banging at the body of Tom Carpensi and ended up, uh, you know, damn near breaking his ribs, they say, man. He, he broke his damn ribs, man. Uh, Carpensi, man, ended up quitting on the stool, man. Was that the second round? Uh, quit on a damn school stool, man. Should be ashamed of himself, man. Uh, hey, well, if he, if he got broken ribs, I don't think. Uh, hey, I don't think it's. I, mean, I don't know, man. He just quit, man. He didn't look too good, anyways, man. He looked like look like crap, man. To be honest with you, man. Uh, Tom Capinci was a guy who's uh, been beat on by many a guys, man. Uh, you know, uh, Olazan and Volstig uh, knocked him out to the body with a body shot. You know, um, yeah, man. Uh, Donna Stevenson. Uh, stopped him, you know. So the guy was just a, 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 a he, what we call a stepping stool, man. He's a, he's a, he's a tool, man. That's all he was, man. So, but hey, man, you know, congratulations, to Roberto Ramirez, man. Forty, you know, twenty six knockouts, man. Um, hey, this guy, man, who can who can he challenge, man? That uh, man, look, who the hell can he challenge at a, uh, uh, light heavyweight, man? You know, light heavyweight, man. Oh uh, man! Hey, actually, you know that that fight was stopped in the uh, uh, fourth round, man. After the fourth round, man, he quit on the stool. Pardon my mistake, man. It was fourth round, he quit on the stool, and that it was it was a wrap, man. Uh, bro, he was said he said his ribs are broke. Told his corner, oh my ribs are broke, man. You know, um, damn. Uh, hey, well, anyways, man, it, it it was a hell of a fight, man. Hell of a fight for Gilberto Ramirez, man. He hell of a fight, hell of a not, not a hell of a fight, like as in a good fight, but it was just a a good fight for him at his new weight, 175. Man, I, I I don't see him doing too much at this weight though, man. Like this, this is this is a hey man. When you move up like this, man, you gotta have pop, man. You got guys like Kovalev and Bivol. Bivol is a faster, uh, more athletic kind of guy. Marcus Brown's a monster, man, a beast. Marcus Brown is one of the best guys. Young guys that don't have a belt, but he's on the other side of the promotional fence, so that fight is is safe for Gabrielto. You don't have to worry about that. But he he can. You know, he got Alejo Alvarez, man. You know, Arthur better be it. Uh, Volstig is probably going to be the fight they're going to look to make because they were the same uh, camp. Kovalev's in there. You know, Duva is doing that co-promotion with her with him because she can't do the job by herself. You know, so she got to have Aram uh, carry the load for Kovalev. So that, that's those are fights that's going to be in the future, man, for uh, Gilberto Ramirez, man. He did a, he did a pretty solid job. Uh, big Big, tall guy, man. Yeah, over over six feet, man. So six two is he? Six two. Uh, Roberto's a, a you know he could fill out that weight, man. You know he could he's six two, man. He could fill out, you know, it's it, he'd be a problem, man. His height and his range, man, is a problem. You know he'll make a good fight for with a lot of guys in that division. Uh, but like I said, man, you got killers up there, man. You know Volstic, he'll he'll be Volstic. He'll be Alexander Volstic. He'll, he'll claim that WBC champ. You know, he'll be claiming that WBC title, so he'll have a title. At, he'll probably end up dropping that uh, WBO uh, super middleweight uh, 168 because he ain't going back down, man. He if he he's stepping in the ring at 196, man, he killing himself to make 168. So he gonna get he gonna get that up, man. You know, he be in there with uh Volstick and get the WBC. You know, he be in there. You know, get the WBC. And then we got we got you know Kovalev and Bivol on the horizon, and, and you know. Because like you know, Marcus Brown, like I said, PBC ain't they ain't getting that done, man. You know, so uh, yeah, oh man, what what a what a what a weak fight, man. <laughs> it's a weak fight, but it was good for good for the Ramirez, man. He was able to uh, step up, man, and uh, he was able to uh, get his feet wet, man. At light heavyweight division, this is real Ghana world boxing.